okay so I'm going to have to um, use the Bible in order to condemn these folks I'm going to have to use the word of God in order to condemn these people and I was walking earlier um, due to the persecution and I was watching these wicked people in these cars riding past me and I thought about all the wicked things that they doing in this land and seeing their houses and seeing them bothering me all through the land and trying to smile in my face. Now, the reason, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got to use the Bible now. I'm going to go ahead and bring the Bible in right now because I can talk all day long. And they think they're getting away with something. But God ain't never changed. And I was thinking about Israel. When God told them that they would go into these lands, They did not want to go. The people in those lands was very strong, but the most important thing, because we all heard this story before, the most important thing to remember is what was the command that God gave to them when he told them to go into the land. See, you hear a lot of pastors say God said go into the land and possess it. And first of all, I want to disclaim and notice that I ain't no terrorist, but I'm going to say the Bible and I got a right to my religion. And I'm going to tell you what my God said to them folks in the Bible. He said, go into the land and spy on them folk. That's what God said. And see, Satan love to use what God have used in the past to try to use it against God's children today. Because God said, my, my children perish for lack of knowledge. And the devil and his people, they been spying on every goddamn thing. And we gonna go back to what God told the Israelites to do in the Bible. He told them to go throughout the land and spy. Now that's not even the most important thing. The most important thing is why did he tell them to go and spy on them people? Because they were to possess it and take it for themselves. Now, I believe that something's totally different going on today with the children of God and what God's plan is and how he's going to make this right. But back to what God told the Israelites and how that relates to my situation. How does this relate to my situation? Okay? to bring some clarity on that. Well, he was telling them to go and spy so they can go into the land and take the land. Now, how was they supposed to take it? I mean, these people were so much stronger. But these people act like they want to hit me in the fucking street. Hit me then, bitch. Hit me. Because people all on the other side of the road and everything and... They got all little reasons to have their little setups all over the place. And I don't want them nowhere near me. So, they know what time it is. But anyway, so remember when Israel went into the land to go and spy out the land. Now, this is just talking about what Israel did in those times, according to what the Bible said. They went into the land and they spied out the land. And God said, come back and bring Moses a report. But when, it, when they found out that Israel and them was in the land, they set it up already to kill them. Now see, that relates a lot to my situation. Not because I came to spy out their land and take it or possess it in a country that I was born in, in a city where I was raised. No, it's not like that. But they still seen us in the land and they still heard about us coming and they still knew that we was coming in the name of Jehovah and they still knew that we was coming in the name of Jesus and they still set up traps for us and they still set up to make war with us and they still set it up to try to tell us we couldn't come through the land and they still tried to make allies with our enemies in different lands and they still trying to annihilate us with their bullshit and we do have rights. 
in this land. But hold on, um, cause I know I got some videos and stuff. I need before I go any little deeper to expose these people. Let me make sure I got enough storage space. 